a really good question, quite a complex question that should be broken up into different categories, but I'll just try and answer it very quickly. Um, when I put the art on the walls, it becomes art. It becomes, it becomes something within the public domain. It's not something personal any longer. So the people who criticise me on a personal level, I think are a bit stupid. They should just look at it like art and criticise it from an art point of view, not a personal point of view. And that's how I deal with it. It's a massive hindrance because museums and serious art establishment don't take me that seriously. It's almost like I've left them, I've left the nest. You know, critics want to discover someone. They want to write, you know, seriously about them. You know, meanwhile, you know, you'll find me on, um, you know, have I got news for you or whatever. So it's quite difficult for someone to take me seriously on some levels. But that's just the way my life is. I just see, I don't know, it's the way I am. And it's not like that for many artists. It's just something, it's not even like I have to deal with it. It's more about my private life I have more concerns with than my art. My art is, art always looks after me. But sometimes I can't look after me. I have been so discouraged, it's incredible. As I said, I didn't have a exhibition, solo exhibition until I was 30. 33, I think. Oh, no, no, I wasn't. I was younger, actually. 31, with Jay Joplin. And, and um, you know, and uh, also at art school, I wasn't, I've never been visually the best artist in the world. It's not my strong point. So I've really had to battle for what I believe in and what I want to do. And like, for example, my bed, all the furore and all the publicity and all the stuff that went with that. It, every day I had to wake up and, and remind myself that I believed in what I did, regardless of what anyone else said. And after I left art school, when I was on the doll, Enterprise Allowance as it was then, um, I did a, a, a part-time Birkbeck philosophy course. I did um, history of philosophy and 20th century philosophy. I learned so much in that two years doing that philosophy course and it made me understand aspects of art that I'd never understood before. It opened part of my mind up that before was completely closed. And I think doing the philosophy, part-time philosophy course, was just amazing. And I wish I'd done more philosophy at art school. I wish it had been parallel to me doing the art, because I would have learnt a lot quicker. I was just a slow learner. <laughs> These are the moments of my career. Okay. Meeting Sarah Lucas the artist Sarah Lucas, and collaborating with her on the shop project and her confidence in me. Having a relationship with Carl Friedman, who's a, a, a writer, critic and gallerist, and profoundly intelligent when it comes to art, he really helped me and shaped me and f helped me formulate my ideas. Having a relationship with the artist Matt Collishaw helped me liberate and be more confident in my freedom of ideas. Jay Joplin, my gallerist, his confidence in supporting me when, when nobody else would be interested. They thought I was kind of mad, but Jay thought I was interesting and Jay invested in me financially as well as with his time and energy. And I think in life, there's all these, these people come into your life and it's not like being opportunistic. It's just those people are offering you something, giving you something. You don't necessarily understand it at the time. But with me, I was I had I had nothing to lose. I just opened myself up to it and listened to these people, and that I'll always be really grateful to. Them. <laughs>